Hello YouTube, this is the Abnormal Designer and today I'm going to share with you the new amazing features available in Photoshop CS6. There's a lot to go over in this video so be sure to check out the page I linked in the description below for more info. Let's start off with one of the biggest new features, the Mercury Graphics Engine. This graphics engine empowers a number of key features in Photoshop CS6 and CS6 Extended. It delivers immediate feedback when you edit images using the all-new Crop Tool, Puppet Warp, Liquify, Adaptive Wide Angle, and the new Lighting Effects Gallery. It allows you to paint more freely, smoothly resize brushes and adjust brush tips, and it shows you the effects of the new oil painting filter in real time. It also helps you quickly render final 3D work in Adobe Ray Trace mode in Photoshop CS6 Extended. What else? The Mercury Graphics Engine helps you navigate Photoshop documents in your workspace more fluidly as well. Smoothly turn your canvas for non-destructive viewing at any angle, and gracefully navigate to any area of the image with ultra-smooth panning and zooming. You can now detect faces in the color range. This is amazing considering CS5 would scramble the pixel selection. Now you can select skin tones and modify them with no hassle. Next we have the Adaptive Wide Angle. This will help correct distortions in your photos, correcting the angle and perspective of certain areas in the scene. Photoshop's new engine also allows for more precise and intelligent adjustment features such as the autocorrection. An awesome new little feature now also allows you to import your old CS5 presets, making the switch to this brand new Photoshop even easier. One big problem a lot of users in CS5 had was not being able to edit the lighting in photos in real time. You had to use a little preview box and add the effect and undo it if it didn't come out right. Now you're able to edit it and view the effect in real time in the photo with no lag at all. Ever have trouble in CS5 looking for shortcuts to get those crop effects you just couldn't achieve in CS5? In CS6, Adobe added new features, shortcuts, and rule layouts for cropping your photos, making things smoother and easier for you as well as giving you the extra tools to make sure you get the best out of your new features. This is one of my favorite new features, autosave. I'm extremely excited about this feature, personally because I've lost a lot of work in the past from random freezes and crashes. Photoshop now has the ability to autosave your work in the background. This will help prevent you from having to stop and wait for it all to save. Warm Ipsum. There are always some points where you will need some type of random text to test the layout for your new work. Whether it's pamphlets or web designs, Lorem Ipsum will allow you to paste in random paragraphs of generated text to give you a good preview for your designs. One of the coolest new features is the ability of the new Content Aware technology. It's enhanced and now offered in the Patch Tool. This will allow you to use Content Aware technology and make sure it's grabbing pixels from your specified area in the photo, so you don't accidentally blend your objects in the wrong spot. Photoshop can now automatically activate this technology when moving objects within a photo as well, making sure you spend less time cleaning them up. White balance and noise reduction can now be used as a brush. This will allow you to edit certain aspects of a photo without affecting the entire scene. You can also now apply layer styles to entire groups, making effects with multiple layers even easier. Changing colors and shading in different tabs is now part of the past. CSX brings them together and organizes them for you, making color and correcting a lot easier. You can edit a lot of the color settings now within one box. One good organization feature added was the layer search. You can organize layers by effects, names, groups, and even colors. Scripted patterns was also added in CS6, giving you more settings and effect to add those favorite patterns into your work. These include brick fill, cross weave, random, spiral, and symmetry fill. There are also a lot of new settings for your tips. You can make them erodible or use some of the new airbrush features, giving you a better excuse to get out the tablet. There are a lot of new blur effects in CS6, giving you the ability to give your scene that modern artistic feel. There are two huge additions in CS6. The ability to easily edit 3D meshes in Photoshop, adding lighting, textures, or editing multiple objects at once. There's also a new video feature. You shouldn't replace After Effects with it, but it takes advantage of Photoshop layer styles to do simple video and track edits within the program, making your video and photo production faster and simpler. Well, I hope you guys learned a lot in this video. There's a lot to do in Photoshop, so get out there and create. Follow me on Twitter for exclusive updates and content. 